Captain Claudia, much has transpired, and little of it good. I am on a ship bound for Constantinople, in pursuit of a man whose treachery has eluded me until now. Prince Ahmed, Suleiman's uncle, is the man leading Templars here. He is the mastermind behind the Masyaf expedition, and he will stop at nothing to retrieve the keys, all of which are now in assassin hands. So what holds me back? Why do I not take the keys to Masyaf myself and be done with these fools? Because I have been careless. Because the Templars know about Sophia, and they are looking for her. Oh, Claudia, if anything should happen to her, I could not live with myself. I have dragged her into a war she knows nothing about. And it will be my burden to bear if she comes to any harm. Citizens of the Empire and travelers from foreign lands take heed. By order of the Janissaries, new restrictions apply to all who travel to and from the city. Note that a reward of 10,000 Akche will be given without question to anyone who brings in information that leads to the immediate arrest of the Suikas Che, Ezio Auditore. Sisters, the whole city rises against us, while Yusuf's murderer waits and watches from the arsenal, laughing. Fight with me, and show him what it means to cross the assassins. Thank <laughs> you. 
in a position to negotiate. Kill me and be done with it. I am sorry it had to come to this. Two men who should be friends, quarreling over the keys to a library. We both strive for the same end, Ezio. Only our methods differ. Do you not see that? Peace, stability, a world where men live without fear. People desire the truth, yes. But even when they have it, they refuse to look. How do we fight this kind of ignorance? Liberty can be messy, Ahmed, but it is priceless. Of course. And when things fall apart, and the lights of civilization dim, Ezio Auditore can stand above the darkness and say proudly, I stayed true to my creed. I will open that library. And I will find the Grand Temple. And with the power that is hidden there, I will destroy the superstitions that keep men divided. Not in this life, Ahmed. Bring the seals to Galata Tower when you are ready. Do this, and Sophia will be spared. My brother's army will be here soon, Ezio. After that, everything changes. How long have you been here? Long enough. I had Ahmed tailed as soon as he returned. But I never expected to hear all this. And what do you think? He is a sincere man. But this Templar fantasy of his is dangerous. It flies in the face of reality. The world is a tapestry of many colors and patterns. A just leader would celebrate this, not seek to unravel it. He fears the disorder that comes from difference. That is why we make laws to live by. A kanun that applies to all in equal measure. Shastadem, stand back! Hold, soldier! This man is not our enemy. What a challenge it would be to have a son like you. You are not dead yet, old friend. Ezio, spare my uncle if you can. But your father? No. Mentor? 
Now should be a time for remembrance and mourning, I know. But our enemies do not permit us that luxury. Yusuf thought highly of you, assassin. And I find no reason to second-guess this judgment. Do you have it in your heart to lead these men and women, and to maintain the dignity of our order, as Yusuf did with such passion? It would be an honor. Bene, I am glad. Our enemy is close. Take positions around the tower, and wait for my command. Bloodlust makes it hard to call you a friend. Bloodlust? A strange insult from the man who ordered an attack on his own nephew. He was to be kidnapped, Ezio. Not killed. I see. Kidnapped by the Byzantines so that his uncle could rescue him and be heralded the hero. More or less. Now, the keys. First, the girl. She's all yours. Sophia! Tell your men to back off. She's all yours. I don't mean to drag you into this. I am sorry. <laughs> you are not responsible for the actions of other men. All this will be over soon, but I need to recover what they have taken. I do not understand what is happening, Ezio. Who are these men? Run! Well, well, you have 
come to see me off.
What now, Ezio? How does this end? I am wondering that myself. Not your master! You serve the Sultan! You carry out his command alone! Where is he? Where is the Sultan? He stands before you, brother. Father made his choice. Philip! <coughs> Stop! Please! Ezio Auditore. I am Selim, Suleiman's father. He speaks quite highly of you. He is a remarkable boy with a magnificent mind. Were it not for his endorsement, I would have you killed where you stand. Leave this place. Do not return. <laughs> You did the right thing, Ezio. This is not your fight. But where does one end and the next begin? Here it comes. What is that? What's going on? This is the end, Desmond. Scheduled for deletion. What are you doing? What is a man but the sum of his memories? We are the stories we live. The tales we tell ourselves. Don't do this. I'm saving you, idiot. Go! Go! 